ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, worshippers of all ages, welcome to YouTube! My name is C Raptor, and today we're bringing you a first look at Tier 6 Premium German Aircraft Carrier, Erich Lohenhardt. Now, this is a ship that uh, was spoiled a while ago on a dev blog. I think she was actually in the client last patch for super testing. Um, actually, she may not have been. I'm not sure. But she's, she's definitely in our ports now as CCs, which means that I'm allowed to show you the ship. We can talk through its stats, but I cannot show you gameplay. Um, my policy for myself is I don't play a ship that I'm not allowed to showcase on stream anyway. So... I can't tell you anything about how this ship plays. I have no idea. And I won't, I flat out will not play it until I'm allowed to show it to you guys. But we can uh, do this little number where we come into port, we look at the stats, we compare it to uh, all the other carriers in the tier and talk through what we think, uh, you know, what we like, what we don't like, what we think about the ship and so on and so forth. So let's, uh, let's get to it. First things first, let's talk about survivability. Actually, let me get rid of this captain because he is mucking up that number. There we go. So, hit points, basically 44,500. This is high end of the tier, a little behind Ranger and Arc Royal by a few hundred hit points. But she's got a pretty healthy uh, healthy amount of HP for the tier. So, you know, nothing to, nothing, nothing really outstanding here. Um, nothing really noteworthy. The 16% torpedo protection um, does match, uh, I think it's Furious. There's another carrier, it might have been Ranger, I don't remember. There's another carrier in this tier that has 16%. Um, it's not best in tier, but it's not worst in tier. It's, it's, it's okay, right? It's not amazing. Um, armor-wise, this ship actually surprised me a little bit when I started looking into her armor scheme. Now, you're going to find a lot of 19, 20, 25, 21 millimeter plate all over this thing, so she's going to take full HE pins all day long, just like you would expect of a, of a mid-tier aircraft carrier. But this, this belt is a little surprising. Um, 80 millimeters kind of here in the middle, you know, 100 back through over what I believe would amount to her machinery spaces. Yep. So, and she does have the classic German turtleback armor. You see it here, clearly displayed. So, I mean, this is a ship that you are, you don't want to take this thing into combat against, say, a battleship, as an example. But if you found yourself in close-ish combat with a cruiser, a mid-tier cruiser, you might be able to hold up a little while. He probably won't be able to citadel you through your belt, uh, especially if you give him an angle. But even broadside, you, you might find yourself okay um now why would you why would you look for that kind of engagement well i'm going to skip ahead a bit and we're going to talk about lone heart's secondaries this is where one of the more interesting things of the ship if you remember from previous videos one of the key differences between the, the tier 8 german carriers that's premium graf zeppelin and august von parseval in the tech tree was the 150 millimeter guns that graf zeppelin mounted in her hull down below the hangar deck we see the exact same guns, the exact same setup here on Erich Lohenhardt. So there's four sets of these twin-barreled 150mm guns along each side of the hull. You see here four on the starboard side. As I click over, it'll flip around, and you'll see four on the port side. Now, the range on all of her secondaries, um, which includes the, the 105mm mounts up on her deck. Again, this is just like all the other German carriers. The range on these guns is garbage. It's only 5 kilometers. There's, there's nothing to write home about here. You see 5.3 kilometers in the video here because I have a flag on. Um, but, uh, you know, I did a check, and if you go a full secondary build with Lohenhart, you can push these out to about 7.6 kilometers or so. That's actually kind of respectable. Now, we don't know. I have no idea if these get the secondary uh, accuracy buff that Graf Zeppelin gets. If they do, then that might be interesting. It might be worth investing points into that, that kind of a build. If they don't, then I don't know that I'd bother with it. Um, still, if she does, you know, when you're like when you're fighting with a Graf Zeppelin, uh, Lohenhart might be able to win a gunfight with a low health cruiser late in the game, if, if in her matchmaking bracket, if if the situation called for it. I mean, I've 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 mowed down, uh, you know, five six thousand HP Atlantas with Graf Zeppelin secondaries before. Um, it's a DPS race, but you have almost as many guns as the Atlanta does on a Graf Zeppelin, and your accuracy is pretty good. He's not going to last very long. You're going to melt that guy. Um, if, if Lohenhart, for some reason, doesn't have that accuracy bonus, these secondary guns are probably not much more than a novelty. We're going to have to wait and see how she plays. Um, backing up, we'll talk about maneuverability and concealment. Um, fellas, this is an aircraft carrier. She's not that maneuverable. She is decently fast here, almost 36 knots. 
But look at that turning circle. You know, over well over a thousand meters. Twelve second rudder shot. Or Twelve second rudder shift. This this ship obviously is is going to handle like a whale. Uh, it's big. It has a ton of freeboard. It's slow. It's I mean, it's slow to react to the rudder. That's just the way she is. But again, that speed that's for tier six, like that's that's noteworthy. Keep an eye on that. Okay. Um, detectability range. This is with her little standard camel on. Her her base detection, uh, I believe, uh, totally naked is thirteen and a half. And by the time you do a full stealth rig, you can get her down to 11.8 kilometers. Now, that's not as good as Vesser and HMS Furious, but it's not as bad as Ark Royal, HMS Ark Royal and USS Ranger. So, of course, nothing touches Ryuho in this tier. Ryuho, a full stealth rig Ryuho comes in at like 8.6. There are tier 6 cruisers that are easier to spot than Ryuho in a full stealth build. Um, but 11.8 for stealth is not anything shabby. Like, that's 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 workable. It's not... She's not detected from orbit, let's say. All right, but let's get to the real meat of this. We're all here to talk about her planes. Let's look these over. For starters, her attack aircraft, BF-109Ts. These are unquestionably the fastest attack aircraft in Tier 6. Additionally, these planes have the same regeneration rate as HMS Furious in the British Tech Tree. One plane you see there every 72 seconds. The main difference is that Furious's planes have a ton of HP. Lone Hearts don't suffer from this problem. In fact, the health of Lone Hearts attack aircraft is pretty average and her squadron sizes are very small. One thing you're going to see throughout as we go through the ship all, she never puts more than six planes in the air in any of her squadron types. So what that means is that flak and catapult fighters really, really, really hurt uh, this ship. This seems to be a conscious choice by Wargaming. Her, these attack planes carry the same rockets as Tier 8's August von Parseval. These are 2350 alpha damage with eight rockets and a volley. Now, it's a few more, a few less than Parseval. Parseval puts 12 downrange because her attack waves are three planes instead of two. Presumably, this is a balancing thing, given that Lowenhardt is going to see very, very different matchmaking than Parseval will. But of course, given that these are AP rockets, anybody with two brain cells strung together can just keep his bow pointed towards your attack run and pretty much ignore these planes. So, just like all the other German tech T carriers. So, temper your expectations on what you're going to get out of these aircraft accordingly, okay? Lonehart's torpedo armament is modeled after kind of that on Ark Royal. These are slow torpedoes without a lot of punch, married to a worst interior flood chance of 23% per torpedo. Again, the regeneration rates here tie HMS Furious 4 worst in tier, and like before, these planes have way, way less health than Furious and drop in smaller squadrons. Again, carrying over that theme. The good news is that health-wise, all the other non-Furious Tier 6 carriers have it worse off. The, what works against her here is the tiny squadron sizes. Because her planes have a decent amount of HP, but a very, very small squadron size, again, flak bursts and catapult fighters are going to feel awful. I'm honestly not sure where they're going with this torpedo squadron design. These torps are weak and slow, as opposed to the powerful but slow concept they originally tested for the German carriers. Um, right now, in short, I'm, I would say, I'll get at these on paper, I wouldn't expect a lot of these torpedoes, right? If they were a touch faster, they might be useful against cruisers. Like you see uh, out of the tech tree in Tier 6's uh, Vesser, those torpedoes are, don't hit that hard, but they move very quickly, which makes them hard to dodge, which makes them useful against lighter units, like cruisers, like destroyers. But as slow as these torpedoes are, you see they're 32 knots base speed. Uh, you aren't likely to score many hits against anything but a slow-ass battleship, and that is the exactly the kind of unit you don't want to be firing these at, because he's going to have a decent amount of torpedo protection, he's going to laugh off that flood chance, laugh off that damage, and you're not going to get much out of him. So, right now, I don't really know where they're going with these torpedo bombers. These feel like trash. I'm just looking at them. Uh, we'll see. Now, that's very much in contrast to her, tower, uh, her dive bombers. These, these planes very definitely stand out. These planes introduce 1,000 kilo bombs, that's 2,200 pounds for my American audience, into tier 5, 6, and 7 matchmaking. You have to remember, these bombs of this size, the, the lowest you could, lower, slowest tier you could get these in earlier, was, was uh, tier 8's uh, premium American carrier USS Saipan. She carries the same 2,000 pound bomb mounted by USS Midway at tier 10. And now here I am bringing an HE bomb, a 2,200 pound HE bomb, into tier 6. The alpha strike of these bombs is insane. Look at that, twelve over 12,000 damage with a massive fire chance and a decent little penetration value to go to go within there, 68 millimeters. 
On paper, these bombs should just do horrific damage to almost any ship that Lowenheart encounters in her matchmaking bracket. Luckily, she only drops two in a salvo. Now, I don't know what the reticle looks like. We don't know if it's the long and skinny reticle like you get out of the tech tree or the perfectly circular reticle like you get out of Graf Zeppelin or something completely different. I have no idea. But just on paper, these things look mean and vicious. The squadron health isn't all that great. Again, keeping with the theme of the ship. But the individual planes have a decent amount of HP. Um, this is actually one one squadron, one plane type, where low and hard is not worse than tier on plane health. Uh, it just looks bad overall because of, you see there, the small squadron size. That hurts. So yeah, there's it's kind of a mixed bag on her planes right now. Um, AA-wise, when they first spoiled this ship, uh, the AA stats... Uh, of Lone Heart were absolutely monstrous. It seems to have been toned down quite a bit, or the stats that were reported in the blog were inaccurate. I don't know which, but it's it's completely different than the numbers we saw before. Um, her A suite is now basically a little better than Japanese her Japanese counterpart Yuho in the Tech Tree, which is to say it's not all that remarkable. And and Tier Six is one of the few places you can still land meaningful strikes against the enemy carrier because his AA is probably only so-so. You really only have to get through his catapult fighters. Um, so I'm going to temper this expectation when you're playing a low and hard. Right, if you get the chance to strike an enemy carrier, especially if his fighters are on cooldown and not in the air, yeah, that's maybe not a bad idea. Um, I wouldn't go seeking that engagement because his catapult fighters are going to make a complete hash of your your squadrons you're gonna get some damage but you're not gonna bring too many planes home so that's that's never a good idea so yeah i mean looking over the complete package the, the closest analogy i can find to this ship right now is really uh, we talked about a minute ago is tier 8 premium american carrier uss saipan right the regeneration rate on the planes is slow the squadron size is small the attacks waves are meant to be impactful. That's one of the things about Saipan. Saipan is very small squadrons with high health planes that are meant to land like sort of infrequent attacks, fewer attacks, but attacks that hit harder. For Lowenheart, you can see this kind of working for the, 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 uh, the attack aircraft with the AP rockets against broadside cruisers and, and potentially broadside carriers. Because remember, a lot of carriers in this tier bracket do not have good armor. Right? I'm willing to bet you you can Citadel a Ranger with these rockets. I'm willing to bet you you can Citadel a Furious with these rockets and so on. Right, So the rockets have useful targets if you know where to look. And the HE bombs are going to do horrible things to anything that they that they touch. Can you imagine getting hit by a 2,000-pound HE bomb in a Tier 6 destroyer? Oh, that's going to hurt, kids. That's going to hurt like hell. But where Lone Heart, I think, trips up right now is the torpedo armament. The torpedo planes just look like they're awful and that's in direct contrast to saipan right saipan's torpedo armament is arguably one of the best one of the strongest things about that ship that's something that lowenhard does not have right now i'll say that for me i would be surprised to see her make it to live with these torpedo values i feel like she needs a change a tweak somewhere in there whether they whether they speed them up to bring them so, you know, they don't hit that hard so speed them up and make them like the tech tree torps and now they have it now they have a niche they have a home they have a use right now they're weak and slow so I don't, I don't know why you would ever really bust those things out. I, I, I just can't envision it. So anyways, that's where we are right now with the Tier 6 Eric Lodehart. So hope you enjoyed that, guys. Be safe out there. Wash your hands. And I'll catch you next time.